This country made me a promise when I was born. It made the same promise to everyone in this room and across this country. I was uh, born to a 16-year-old single mom who put me up for adoption to two school teachers, and they taught me about this promise. The promise was that anyone from anywhere could do anything, that hard work would earn a powerful paycheck, they would buy you good food and a decent home in a safe neighborhood. It's that promise that brought my wife's family here as refugees from Venezuela, six people in a two-bedroom basement, working-class Montreal apartment, her dad up at the crack of dawn to hop on the back of a pickup truck and go out into a, the middle of a farm field and pick fruit so that he could pay the rent. Today, her brothers are a soldier, a carpenter, her sister is a nurse. Her father has uh, a business with his, his wife, and they have all succeeded. The promise was kept. It was that promise that got me into politics in the first place, and I was very proud to be part of a government that not only kept the promise but expanded it with the lowest inflation in almost half a century, incomes after tax and inflation that went up 10 percent. We cut the GST. We balanced the budget. We did it all by, while increasing health care transfers faster than any government yeah. since that transfer. <laughs> That's why I welcome every single time. I talk, they talk about my experience in government is doing the exact same things that I would like to do in the future, which is to expand the opportunity, expand the promise of this country. Where anyone from anywhere can do anything, the biggest and most open land of opportunity the world has ever seen. That is our vision. That is our purpose. Now, let's bring it home. Yeah.